In this Photoshop tutorial, you're going to learn how to create these awesome liquid paint gradient backgrounds. So let's start with a new canvas of whatever size we want. I'll go to File, New, make it whatever size you want, and let's grab our gradient tool. Now, if you're using a newer version of Photoshop, the gradient tool has changed from gradient and classic gradient. So the new gradient tool looks like this, where it'll create a gradient fill layer, and you can adjust it easily like this. However, for this tutorial, we're going to want to switch back on the top toolbar to the classic gradient tool. And we're going to use an old trick that I've shown in a video before. Let's just make a gradient or pick any of these. So I'll just pick this one. And let's set the blending mode to difference. And we're going to click and drag the gradient on the layer. So automatically, we're going to start to get these cool neon fluorescent type of gradients. So you could play around with this style as much as you want, and really you could stop here too. But to get a liquid paint effect, once we're happy with the experiment, we're going to go to Filter, and we're going to go to the Liquify Filter menu. And this will open up the Liquify menu. And here we have a couple different brush options. So a quick shortcut is just the left bracket key will lower, and the right bracket key will increase. And you have all different options for pressure, density, rate, that you can play around with. But here you could kind of just finger paint. So I can go in swirls. Don't worry if you get too far on one edge. We can always fix that later. I can go in swirls. I can pull and stretch out certain sections. I can stretch that back over. And if you want to play around with some of the other paintbrush tools, there's like a, a twirl where you just click and hold and it sort of acts like a blender. That's pretty cool. There's Pucker and Bloat. You can really play around here, just like your finger painting. Uh, there's even a Reconstruct tool. So uh, let's say we want to take this little section back to the original. We can do that. Or I can press Command-Z to undo. So once you get as messy as you want and as painted as you want, uh, another final tip is the Reconstruct button, just like the Reconstruct brush. You can just take the whole thing from 0 to however 100% or whatever liquify amount that you wanted. So sometimes if you push it too far, you can always take this back to like 75 and press OK. And then you press OK and you have your cool liquid gradient background and just play around with the type of color, the different blending modes and the starting positions and then liquify them into a cool painted mess. I suppose from here you can even go on to add new adjustment layers. Like if you want to increase the brightness and contrast, to make it like more intense or if you want to do things like add a gradient map so new gradient map that way you can change the color of the whole thing in general so you could just map it to whatever colors you want custom gradients so maybe if you're not happy with the original color you can try to influence the color in this way but i find that you can get really cool colors with that original method um, so play around you know there's lots of stuff you could do my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, then check out some of the other tutorials and playlists on my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.